Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I really want to do a bit of a flash update in regards to Viviscal. Now if you haven't heard of Viviscal or if you don't know what Viviscal is and you've clicked this video and you're worried about your hair or you're worried about thinning, have a look at my Viviscal journey. Right now we are not too many weeks away from the six month mark and what I can say straight off is that Viviscal really improves the health the the fullness the the scalp quality the amount of hair which grows and um, it really does boost everything in regards to hair it's great for your skin as well now I would say not in the first couple of weeks but your skin by a couple of months in you really really notice the difference so if you find that you've always got quite dry skin or if you've always got like quite tightness Viviscal something I did not know has really really improved my skin quality on my face the first couple of weeks I noticed that it would bring me out in quite some um, sort of like breakouts across throughout my hairline and into my hair but that's gone several months into it, so really, really bear with that. And when I say in terms of the amount of hair which grows through, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture just here, which you can see. Now, just about three and a half weeks ago, I had highlights put into my hair very, very close to my scalp. You could not see my own natural colour. Here, you can clearly see how much my hair has grown. Now, literally, without Viviscal, my hair grows. Yes, absolutely. But I wouldn't think that my hair grows that well without taking Viviscal at all. I have a lot of hair. It's fine hair. So what you see here is actually a lot of air. So I always joke and say to people that my hairstyles are a lot more air than actual hair. Because if you touch, you will start to see that it's not actually hair. It's more air and the style how I've chosen to style my hair. Now, the thing is with Viviscal, what's really, really great is the first time you start taking it, it's a tablet in the morning, a tablet in the evening with your evening meal. It's this here, Viviscal. Inside, I've got my last blister pack of tablets, and that is my second course of three months. And I pay from, I'd say I pay around about, I'm just trying to think now, 50. I, it's around about the 90 pounds mark around about the 90 pounds mark for three months which to be honest with you sometimes it varies quite considerably you can pay over a hundred pounds you can pay a little bit more than that again so around about the 115 pounds i have paid 120 pounds before but i notice now on the actual viviscal website if you go directly to them 90 pounds for a three month course of it and it comes in several blister packs of these and it's literally a tablet in the morning tablet in the evening now i'm going to assume that you know a little bit about viviscal but if you don't have a look on my channel follow my viviscal journey take a look but if you don't what viviscal is i'm just going to refer to the box so i don't get this wrong so what viviscal does is okay so it's the most clinically researched brand so it has over 25 years of research and it's a hair growth supplement which helps maintain normal healthy hair growth from within and its main sort of hero product inside the Viscal, which it shouts about is scientifically formulated amino mass c which is marine protein complex and just to tell you a little bit more about it on the back here so factors which it tries to punch against um, which can affect healthy hair growth is hereditary. So if you're battling against hereditary hair loss, stress, medication, poor nutrition, overstyling, bleaching, heat treatments and over dyeing. So Viviscal Man supplements are scientifically formulated within the important nutrients, zinc, vitamin C and flaxseed, which help to maintain normal healthy hair growth from within and marine protein complex amino mass C. Viviscal has been developed with sign, uh, significant investment in research and development and is supported by 10 published clinical trials. And you know what's really, really great about this? You don't have to worry about getting any sort of timings right or anything like this at all. As soon as you have breakfast first thing in the morning or if you have coffee in the morning, take the first one. They're really, really easy to swallow. They don't stick in your throat. They don't make you feel bloated, uncomfortable. They don't upset your stomach. Um, really quite soft on the system. Then the second one, take it with your evening meal or last thing before you go to bed. And what I like to do, I don't use this every day because I don't feel you have to, because I like to change with all different shampoos and conditioners in trying to get the best, thickest hair possible with volume as well as condition and looking after my hair but the Viviscal men's shampoo is really really great as well now this looks a bit light because this is my second one which I'm coming to the end of now I've just literally gone into the bathroom tried to wash the packaging up a little bit just to make it a little bit more smarter so forgive it if it looks a little bit tatty but this here has Anna Tell 
and it's complex and it's uh, blended with biotin, keratin and zinc to promote healthy looking hair. And it's a fortifying shampoo, full force, cleanses whilst leaving hair looking thicker and fuller. And it does just that. The thing that I always have to note with this as well is if you've got something like a volumizing conditioner, a favorite of yours, it's really nice just to go with a small amount over that as well if you're looking at it for men's hair because it doesn't come with a conditioner. Now, I'm not saying that you couldn't use the woman's version Viviscal conditioner and they have a densifying elixir spray as well. You could use that. Why wouldn't you? I haven't myself personally because I just wanted to keep it to do this really truthfully, really, really honest that I've taken the man Viviscal supplement here. Here's my last blister pack in my second third month box and the shampoo here, which I love. And that's 250 mils and that's £10. Um, it lasts a long time. You don't need a lot of it. It's got a really nice smell and it puts instant texture into the hair, instant lift, instant fullness. And it really, really does help complement the hair growth uh, system which you are taking. So let me just go through it very quickly why we are doing this all about today. Why haven't I waited for six months? Well, this is because pretty recently what I've noticed with my hair, and I would say possibly in about the last two to three weeks, something which has really stood out to me. And I didn't kind of um, plan to notice this or I didn't think anything much of it, to be honest with you. But a huge thing for me, as well as improving the growth of my hair and as well as improving sort of the thickness feeling and the fullness feeling and feeling like you have more hair, What's really nice, of course, we've mentioned about my skin, the quality of my skin. Um, hopefully you agree, it looks quite shiny, quite healthy. Um, and the thing is with me, if I'm being really, really honest, is I'm quite a naturally stressful person. So what will happen to me is I can often get breakouts. Now I can get breakouts through shaving, don't we all? I can get breakouts sometimes through here, but not when you look at me and you think you suffer from breakouts or pimples or acne, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hate that dreaded word spots, but if you want to call it that, that's fine. Um, growing up, never ever had a problem at all. But if I get stressed, I get the odd one, two sort of a, of a breakout come through. And very often it's not extreme. Only I know where it is because I, I've never in my life, fortunately, um, I've never ever got sort of red, anguishy, large sort of uh, pimples or breakouts on my face at all. But I had noticed that if I got stressed, I would get it up in my hairline here, one or two around here, the jawline from shaving and just around here sometimes as well. In the last couple of weeks, I've really, really noticed that my quality of my skin has really dramatically improved with shine sort of that nice healthiness and it is really really lovely and it makes me feel so much more confident so that's something which i really want to just shout out about viviscal the next thing in regards to hair is the strength now you might find how are you going to determine strength in your hair hair doesn't body build it doesn't doesn't do anything well actually when i was styling my hair and if i don't take viviscal or very often in the past if i've been styling my hair my hair will sometimes easily come away from my scalp now, it doesn't mean that I'm losing hair. It doesn't mean that I'm thinning or if I've got anything wrong. It can just be generally that my hair is fine texture. You have to be a little bit more subtle. You have to be a little bit more careful with it. But what I've noticed through taking Viviscal is it does improve. The only way to say this is kind of the anchoring on my scalp. So the hair anchoring to my scalp, it seems to be stronger. It seems to have a whole, a stronger bond to my scalp, which is strange, I know. But Another thing as well, which I notice is if I'm using, if I've dried my hair through with a brush and I use quite a dry product. So if I'm using like a clay or a wax and it's quite firm, you'll know what I mean if you've got men's hair and you're styling your hair and you, and you rub it through your hands and you think to yourself, it's really difficult to get through your hands. Then try and pull it through your hair. You get a nice style and a finish. Yeah. But how about getting it through your hair? It's really difficult. Then when you look at your hands, you've got quite a few hairs in your hand. Doesn't mean you're thinning. It can just mean you've got weak, quite downy, soft, fine, thin hair can still look great. But with Viviscal, I really do notice I got that much more of an anchored process where the hair seems to be holding tighter to my scalp. Seems weird, doesn't it? But honestly, if I take this, that is what it feels like. Now, something as well, which I've tried to really kind of be really quite gentle with, but I wanted to change. I've not been really too great lately with health problems in one thing and another. So I wanted to keep taking the Viviscal because the last thing I want is my hair to be affected. And fortunately, touch wood, touch my head, it hasn't. So I thought about changing things up, making myself a little bit more youthful, really just jumping out of the norm of what I do with my hair. And I had a chat with the lady who cuts my hair after lockdown was released in my local area a little bit. I wanted something a bit different. 
I had a look at some images and things on good old Google and um, I seen some really nice lighter color pulled through men's hair in highlights and um, or lighter tones and I kind of was very open with the lady who cuts my hair and she said that's something we could try and I thought but with my hair really um, and I said I was quite concerned my hair was quite fine would it be okay and do you know what after having it done I can now say that through not just Viviscal, but through having a great diet, so eating lots of fruits and vegetables, being really healthy, okay, and really using the right products to keep my scalp stimulated, looked after, not having that product build up on my scalp, and taking Viviscal, my hair feels stronger for me to be able to do things like having a highlighted process throughout my hair. Of course, regular trims are important, but one thing that I do have confidence in saying through taking Viviscal, it gives me the confidence to do more with my hair, more daring things with my hair, such as having highlights. Now, it's not just normal highlights where it lifted a little bit. It literally lifted, a professional done it, but a lifted from very, very dark, dark brown we're talking here, to white. And in places, my hair is actually silver, particularly at the back. And you may see, as you come a little bit closer, the hair is super, super light kind of as though i'm naturally graying which at the moment i'm kind of liking that look i know it sounds crazy but what i'm trying to say is through taking viviscal it gives me that strength in my hair which i wasn't really expecting i was expecting my hairline to fill in a little bit through stress and things very often sometimes i can have quite a large shed of hair that hasn't happened since I've been taking Viviscal at all. Very often if I've had a bit of a stressful week at work or if I've not been particularly too well, I'll literally notice one day I'll go and wash my hair or I'll go in the shower or in the bath and it will literally be like I've had a haircut. Now that happened when I first started taking Viviscal. In about the first couple of weeks, it really started to reduce and I was noticing dramatically the reduction in full. If that doesn't happen for you, do not worry. Everybody is different. And that could take several weeks, that could take several months. Bearing in mind as well, six months for hair is really not a long time. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, I've been taking Viviscal for six months now, I'm a woman or I'm a man, um, I've been using the shampoo and you've not noticed too much of a change, stick with it. Really, really stick with it. Because if you can have that investment in yourself, what you are doing the whole time you're taking Viviscal is you're getting all the right nutrients into your hair all the right nutrients into your scalp. You're getting all those ingredients into the right places. Practice a healthy lifestyle, exercise, lots of fruits and vegetables as well. Try and de-stress, try and breathe. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But honestly, for me, the hardest thing in the world is sometimes just to switch off. Switching your mind off when something's going on is very, very difficult. Believe you me, I know, I'm there right now with health problems. So all of those things going on, so if you are worried, don't just quickly blame it onto Viviscal. Viviscal is good, but you have to, have to, have to have the right core basis first of all. If you started taking Viviscal and handfuls of hairs coming out, it's probably not going to work. Something medically is going on. Speak to your doctor first of all. Then when you've got that all in place and that sorted, then relook at Viviscal. Because that's then going to boost and build on what you're naturally okay at. So your natural hair is at. So for example, you've brought your body up to its natural state of health and your hair's kind of good, but it could do have a boost again with nutrition, with amino C from Viviscal, the right shampoo, the right stimulation. Then try it. Then I'm sure you will notice a benefit. If you don't, sadly, unfortunately, that's really, it's a really, really difficult one. I have to admit, I've had very two good experiences of taking Viviscal. I'm coming up to the six month mark. I don't want to give too much away in terms of thickness of my hair and things. But what I would say is it has changed. It has given me much more of a natural sort of fullness and my hair has kind of its natural character back. I'm not going to give something away, but I will mention that in my six month mark. I've been able to regular have something more done with my hair in terms of scissors, which I would not do if I wasn't taking Viviscal. We'll mention that more at the six month mark, which is not too long away. But what I really wanted to get out there today is the, the quality of skin, which I've seen improvements for me and hair strength, not just thickness, not just fullness strength. Absolutely surprised. Try Viviscal yourself. 
you won't regret it, I can assure you. Remember, I'm not supported. I have no connection whatsoever with anybody. This is just that if I have an issue, and I have had hair-related issues in the past, and it's nasty, isolating, horrible, and for a man, it's just expected that we lose our hair. Not for me, I'm afraid. Not going to happen. Don't really want that to happen. Why would you? It's okay to let that happen, but let's be fair. Who really wants to? If you do, that's fine. I certainly don't, and there's a lot of other people out there, a lot of other young men out there who don't want that to happen. Um, Viviscal for me is easy to take. Fine. A real easy, strong amendment you can put into your lifestyle. What about how long it takes for people to see a change? I'm not going to sit here and say that because it's different for everybody. But I would certainly say by about three months, you should start to notice some change. If you haven't, then you're still having major problems of hair. It's the hard time then to see a doctor, time to see a medical professional. And it really is just in general, the way you look after yourself as well. Be really self-caring, self-nurturing to yourself as well. Because as I always say, hair is the expression of inner good health. I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, if you're thinking, I really don't get a lot of what you just said, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Follow more of my channel. Follow more of my videos, which I will be doing. A lot of them are about hair. It's an interest of mine. If I can help you, I would absolutely love to do that from my heart. Honestly, it's an absolutely rubbish issue to be dealing with if you've had changes in your hair. One thing I was really starting to be bothered about was an area here, not my crown, an area sort of in the middle of my hair. In my temples was slightly starting to sort of change ever so slightly. Not rising. My hairline was fine. That's been one of the main things. It's the hair behind which seems to have changed in density. You will see if you have a if you've if you've taken the time to have a look at my Viviscal journey or my clips through there, one of them, I think it's about the three month mark, please excuse me if I'm wrong, I've actually got a video a picture in there where you can see the small hairs growing through. So there's just a little bit of a giveaway that Viviscal does help encourage hair to grow back through. In fact, what I do, I'll put the picture up here and have a look. That is not hair thinned out, chopped into, cut in at all. I have had that done afterwards, but not at this stage. So the God's honest truth, that there is hair growing through, which was absolutely a complete surprise to me. But it works. Stick with it. It really does work. I hope you found that interesting. I really, really thank you for being here. That is my flash Viviscal update. Don't forget Give this shampoo a try if you're wondering. If you're a woman sat here watching this, try the woman's version of the shampoo and the conditioner. Try the densifying elixir. Put your whole heart, your whole effort into this. And I'm sure, fingers crossed, I pray that you see results as well. Sometimes, sadly, there may be people who don't see results. And the way to explain that, I feel, is if something doesn't work for you, first of all, don't give up. But if you've given it a fair and a long enough trial and you think to yourself, I'm absolutely at the end of my tether with this, then sometimes, unfortunately, things don't work. But the thing is with that as well, what I would say is that you haven't wasted your time because your hair has been getting that nourishment from the Viviscal, what you've been taking. And the hair you do have will probably be much more healthier than before you started taking it. But what I always would say as well, hair and hair loss hair thinning, hair changes, is extremely, extremely complex. Otherwise, wouldn't we have a cure which was on supermarket shelves way, way, way before now? And if you think about it, nobody's hair-related loss is the same. Men's slightly different, but women's and men's hair, majority is different in regards to thinning, in regards to where you start to thin, in regards to what areas of the hair starts to thin, if you have skin problems with it as well, if you have medical issues with it as well. It's so complex. So have faith in it. Try the product. But if you are at the end of your tether with it and you're thinking that actually it's not doing anything for me, there may well be another product out there. So do not lose hope. If Viviscal is not for you, I hope it is, but if it's not for you, there is so much out there to try. One of the important things as well I'm going to leave you on lastly is the importance of making sure that you're keeping your scalp invigorated and stimulated. 
taking a couple of minutes each day, several times throughout the day, or when you shampoo and condition your hair, take your time to really concentrate and really, really get that blood flow pumping to the to the scalp. Because of course, it could just be simply that you may be suffering a little bit of slower hair growth. Perhaps you find your hair never grows. Or perhaps it's a bit dull, it's a bit lifeless. Really invigorate, massage your scalp. Feels quite good, can get a bit annoying if you've been doing it for a while, but it does help. It's all over the online that it does help. And I know that doesn't necessarily mean to say it works, but I find it works for me. Because if I've been doing that for quite a long time, I do find that I get very small downy hairs coming through on my hairline. It's very difficult to determine if they grow through into terminal hairs, which is full growing hairs. But of course, if you're keeping that scalp invigorated, then you're going to have better hair. That's my thoughts anyway. I might be completely wrong. There we go. So thank you very much indeed for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.